Hey everybody, blessings and welcome once again to For His Glory Couponing with a Purpose. Today I am sharing some transactions that I did at Walgreens. Let's get started. The first transaction I did was the four Axe body washes to the left with the bottle of St. Ives body wash. The Axe and St. Ives are both on sale this week. Buy one, get one half. And when you spend $20 in personal care at Walgreens this week, you get a $5 store register reward. The Axe were on sale in store for $5.49, making your half price item $2.74. And the reason I mentioned in store is because when I looked at it on the app, it said like $7.49 or $7.59. But as we know, we can't get register rewards with online orders, at least not in my region. So I went in store anyway. Then I picked up the $3.99 bottle of St. Ives because I wanted to get to $20 or more. And the 4X body wash only came out to $16.47. Now that I've included this body wash for $3.99, my total is $20.00. And 45 cents. I only had a $2 digital coupon on the app that I was able to use, bringing my cost down to $18.45. Now, I ended up getting back 20 cents for the Walgreens everyday points. I did get the $5 store register reward. And then from Fetch, I actually got $13 and 70 cents and that was six thousand for each of the two axe body washes and we also have an offer on fetch for a dollar fifty 1500 points for the saint ives body wash which can be done up to five times for a total of eighteen dollars and ninety cents back in rewards pretty great deal in my book now, I actually did run to Walgreens at Tuesday night about 20 minutes before the store was closing because I had forgotten to stop at Walgreens on my way home. And supposedly this unadvertised deal on Fetch was supposed to expire on Tuesday. However, it ended up carrying into today, Wednesday, because I was uploading a different receipt on Fetch and ended up noting that the Axe was now showing in my list of offers. And it said that I had two more redemptions that I could do. So I did end up going back and buying the other transaction that we're going to get into. So I know that Fetch has done this before where they said there was a deadline on a rebate offer and then it kept going one more day and one more day and one more day. I don't know what's up with that, but I don't know if it's a dead deal already. I know that I did my three redemptions because of the acts that I bought in the next transaction. So don't know if this is going to work or not for anybody else for the rest of the week. It may or may not. I know that I don't have any more X rebate offers on my fetch list. Now for transaction two. I picked up the seven Viva paper towel products, the two Axe body wash, the four St. Ives, and the Skin Timid razors. The Viva paper towels are on promotion. It's a Kimberly Clark promotion that when you spend $30 in their products, you will get a $10 manufacturer register reward. These are also on sale this week for $4.99. The reason that I bought seven products is because if I only bought six, they would come out to $29.94. And that's going to be six cents short. Yes, six cents short of meeting the $30 threshold and you will not get the $10 register reward. Unlike CVS with the 98% rule, Walgreens does not have that. So I bought the extra product and I needed to load up on some paper towels anyway. These came out to $34.93. And the only $1 digital coupon that I had didn't come off. My main reason for going back to the store was to pick up more of the Axe and get the St. Ives to max out both those deals with Fetch. And while I was there, realizing if you watched my other video, you knew that I was Walgreens cash broke. So I'm rebuilding cash and register rewards. And I had a $10 register reward from last week and some store ones, but I did not use store ones on these. 
and I ended up deciding to build up my order because I was going to have out of pocket on both transactions. So I transferred some of my Ibotta money and decided to go ahead and do my spend 60 get 15 digital booster deal. And I was hoping to stack that with a paper booster, but I didn't get any this week. All right, moving on. So I added the deal that I originally came to the store for to this purchase, which were the two Axe body wash. Buy one, get one 50% off, $5.49 for one and $2.74 for the other. Then I picked up four of the St. Ives body wash, which are also buy one, get one half. So two of them cost me $3.99. And then two of them cost me $1.99. And for that transaction, I wanted to make sure that I was at $20 or more so that I could get the $5 store register reward for spending $20 on the personal care items. So this ended up totaling $20.19. So when I put everything together, I was a few dollars short. So I ended up picking up the Skin to Mint Razor, which gave me a total of $62.11. So right there, in addition, I met the $60 spend requirement for my digital booster so that I could get $15 back in Walgreens cash. And I picked up the Skin to Mint Razor because there is a nice $4 digital coupon on the app, which is going to help lower my out-of-pocket. And then a new $3 digital coupon for the Axe had came out. So let's go over the numbers. I already mentioned that the total was $62.11. The $3 digital coupon came off for two of the Axe. I used $10 in register rewards, which was actually the Aveno register reward from last week. My $4 digital didn't come off for the Skin to Mint Razor, but I had some of the paper ones from the 10.9 Smart Source insert. And that brought my total down to $45.11, which I paid with my PayPal debit card. I got back $15.62 in Walgreens cash, $15 for the digital booster, $62 for everyday points. I got a $10 register reward for the Viva Paper Towel, which was the Kimberly Clark promotion. I got the $5 store register reward for spending the $20 in personal care items. Then I submitted my receipt to Fetch for the St. Ives and the Axe Body Wash and got $12.55. So the total that I got back in rewards was $43.17. My out-of-pocket was $47.93. Subtracting the $43.17 gave me a new total of $4.76, which was less than the cost of one package of paper towels. And lastly is that little four-pack of the Baby Shark Bath Squirts, which I was finally able to pick up at 90% clearance for $1.09. So guys, that's all that I have for you for this video. Thank you for stopping and watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to help me to continue to grow here on the YouTube platform. That being said, be blessed and I'll catch you on the next one.